you've spent a lot of your career working on development related issues. Uh, and the UN does have a long track record in promoting development and as you noted, uh, shifting particularly to the use of goal setting uh, and target setting and so on uh, to, to push those along. Uh, that uh, you, you make an interesting comment, I think, in your essay, the Millennium Development Goals and the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs currently have undoubtedly helped restore UN legitimacy on development. And that's an interesting way of thinking about it. And I wonder if you'd elaborate a little bit on that concept, legitimacy uh, for the UN. Well, I think uh, the truth is that the UN just wasn't very effective in producing development results. <laughs> and what it was good at was producing hollow debates where ideological uh, a uh, game of ideological ping pong would go back and forth with uh, rather hollow disagreements over development theory uh, between delegations at the UN. And this produced no positive results on the ground and the money still was, the big money still wasn't flowing to the UN. Where the best decade of the UN, oddly enough, on development programming was the first decade from about 1955 mm -hmm. picked up a little. There was some experimental programming earlier to about 1965 because the programming wasn't meant to develop countries. It was meant to learn more about what works in countries. And we learned a lot from those experiments. Uh, Looking back, it was a very important period and a very creditable period for the UN. But as soon as large scale development programming became possible because the governments of industrialized countries were prepared to invest through multilateral organizations, very large sums of money in development, the UN wasn't the chosen vehicle for this. The big donors trusted the World Bank and the regional development banks more because they were um, uh, in some ways more coherently managed than the UN. Uh, they uh, gave more weight to the countries that were providing the money and that suited the countries that were providing the money. Uh, and the results uh, were mixed of, of uh, all of this, but were very large scale. Nobody can argue with that. But the World Bank and the IMF made significant mistakes during the 1980s with their enthusiasm for structural adjustment, which was carried too far in uh, demanding that development countries uh, uh, in effect undergo financial repression, which prevented development actually in their countries. And so the World Bank and regional development banks lost some of their luster just at the time when the UN realized it had to gain some luster by learning new tricks. The path to the new tricks was in effect uh, created by a series of reports, the human development reports, which pointed at new approaches to development, not ideological at all, new mm -hmm. approaches, what works, what doesn't work. And the bank and others became more interested in this. There became to be more of a dialogue about it all during the 90s, such that by the year uh, 2000, when uh, the member states of the UN uh, agreed to launch the Millennium Development Goals, uh, the bank, bank, the fund, and others were very supportive of this. They thought it could be extremely helpful in putting, in giving a shared agenda to everybody. And that's mm -hmm. what the goals have done. And the goals have had considerable resonance. It's uneven as between countries, but uh, have had considerable resonance around the world.
for example, in Japan, two sectors have adopted uh, the development goals big time. One is big business, which may see it as a branding opportunity, <laughs> but a popular branding opportunity in mm -hmm. Japan. And the university world picked up right. on the SDGs big time. And those are two important communities in Japan. Uh, and then the government of Japan became more domestically supportive of the SDGs. Uh, and so there's a knock-on effect of widespread adoption of a shared idea. And that's what was absent between about 1965 and the year 2000. Mm -hmm.